starting too early for you? You know what? It does seem like the season starts earlier and earlier every year. Um, but the fact that we, you know, the NCAA has allowed us to work with our players pretty much all year round, uh, I guess makes it a le little easier to start. You know, I'm kind of old fashioned in the way that I, I liked the October 15th, you know, across the board. That would be the start of, of practice. And then, um, you know, the games would, would be like a month later, November 15th ish. But again, that's, that's kind of old school, so. Yeah, India was a big part of, you know, everything we did. Uh, with her being in the starting lineup for four years, I think she's got the record for games played, um, assists. You know, she had the three-point record for a while. Um, you know, with that being said, we're going to miss her, but we've got a lot of hungry players that have really stepped up and um, excited to get those minutes and to help lead the team from the point guard spot. You know, it's actually nice because all of the players are going to get a lot of minutes. Um, they're going to, going to get to contribute on the court, which obviously, you know, helps their attitude and team morale, and uh, they're all into it. So um, it's been really good. How do you practice with nine? I know the transfers can practice, I guess. So. Yeah, we, we, you know, the transfers can practice, and we have male practice players that, that also practice um, once a week. So... Uh, we uh, we make it work. I mean, how do you feel about this team, John? I mean, where, where are you kind of at with this team? You know, I feel good. I feel, uh, you know, we had a really good scrimmage at Duquesne. Um, we had a good exhibition game. Until, you know, it's officially tipped up, you're not quite sure what's going to happen. I mean, Robert Morris is a very good team. They had 25 wins last year. They have three of their top uh, four scorers back. Um, pick to win the, the conference that they're in. So it, it's a big challenge for us, but we're excited to, to take it head on and, and play as hard as we possibly can and see what happens. Chelsea and McKenna made huge strides throughout the year last year, um, and then all the time that they're getting this year, they, they, they've even you know grown stronger and, and better players, uh, more more leadership out there, both of them, and um, so I'm, I'm expecting big things from them this year. You still have to watch Sarah's minutes because of you know her, her past. Yeah, I think you know if Sarah had three more years, you'd have to you know. <laughs> watch her minutes in practice and in games and all that. So, you know, with, with this being her last year, uh, uh, you know, she understands what's going on. She's, you know, one of the smartest players I've ever coached. So her minutes in, in practice and, and can be limited just because she she's very sharp on everything that we're doing. And um, I think, you know, being a, another year out of her knee injury, I think she's going to be that much better. Very similar to her first year here at YSU when she had come off of um, her, her knee injury or senior year in high school, you know, it was, it was a, a, a decent year. She didn't play a lot, but then the following year, you know, she was second team all league and, and you know, had an outstanding year. So I'm expecting this to be a great year for her. As far as our game minutes though too, John, you gotta watch that. We're gonna, we're gonna watch it. I mean, I think Mary Dunn is, is a, a, a very good center. She was obviously all conference, uh, uh, freshman of the year, her first year, so she's very capable, and um, those two are, are basically going to split time at the center spot. Is it more blessing since you're breaking in a little bit of a new roster to get an opportunity to play two games at home? <clears throat> it's always nice to start at home uh, we have a great community support um, so I, I'm assuming we're gonna have a, a, a great uh, crowd at the game um, you know sh shooting at the rims that you practice at every day you know helps and just comfortable environment they're sleeping in their own beds uh, all of those things you'd love to have every game at home if you could so yeah we, we love starting at home Lamar, I said, 
and actually be asked to step in and play a big role. What can come expect to see from her and what she looked like in practice? With Amara um, redshirting last year, just gives gave her an opportunity to really learn the ins and outs of the offense, of the defense, of what college basketball is all about. Get that experience without losing a year. You know, now she's you know a freshman basketball wise, um, but but really a sophomore in in terms of school and already having a year of, of basketball under her belt. So um, she's she's stepping in really well. Um, she's you know still learning and that first game out there I'm sure she's gonna be uh, she's gonna be a little nervous but there's great teammates around her and she'll settle in and, and have a good game well I mean I see her playing a ton for us um, she's very athletic good rebounder she's she's worked a ton with coach crane on her outside shooting and she's very capable of shooting the three and um, so I, again, you know, I, I think she can do a lot of things. She's she's uh, very long, which can create some problems defensively. Um, she's gonna have a great year. Coach, you talked, you touched on three a little bit there. This is a team that's lived and died by three point shot for the last several years now. Do you think that you're gonna have a roster that's gonna be able to spread the floor and kind of do what you guys have done over the last, you know, four or five years? Well, of the five years, four of them, the post players have been our leading scorers. So, you know, I don't know if I'd agree with that. You know, we, we pounded in all the time. And the only year that it wasn't was when um, Sarah Cash went down with the knee injury and Mary was a freshman. But I think Mary was like a half a point off of the lead in terms of scoring. So um, we, we definitely try to pound it in and score score inside. And then we kick it out and we have open threes. We, we try to hit them. But um, I think if our threes are off, our inside game usually takes care of us and vice versa. If the, if the you know, posts are, are having an off night, then, then hopefully the threes are falling. <clears throat> yeah, I think um, Chelsea's done a great job. Uh, Melinda's always been very solid. She's going to have a, a much, much bigger role this year. Dalia Gibson, a freshman from uh, Cleveland, is also going to take some time at the point. So the three of them are, are very capable of, of getting the job done, and, you know, I'm excited for them.